How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Cherokee Ronnie and today we're going to be doing a walk around and we're going to be talking about the cheap Cherokee project that we did on this channel. Now I wanted to go ahead and explain the budget phase of this Jeep, what we did to it, how much money we spent before we go ahead and uh, you know go full blown off road with it. This year, I plan on taking on some trail rides, having some fun with it, just to show you guys that what I've built in my backyard on a budget will keep up with everything else out there. I don't care what it is, this thing will keep up. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how much money we got in this thing. This thing is very off-road capable. We, we built this on a budget. This is from a Grand Cherokee. Um, we got Rub Rubicon Express five and a half inch springs. Um, we're running a factory track tr track bar that's been extended and we're running disconnects this bumper came on it we picked these up for about 400 bucks we did coat with bed liner as you can see there and we went with s10 out leaves so it's a bastard pack we went with rough country braided lines. We went with a hardcore off-road. They're based out of Pennsylvania bumper. We did a shock relocation. Um, we did a gas tank relocation. We went with some rough country quarter panel armor. We went with some Freedom Off-Road lowers and uh, a set of uppers off of eBay. They're built in America. They're well overbuilt. We went with drop brackets because when you're at six inches, you have to have drop drop brackets or you have to go long arms. Honestly, these don't hang up like I thought they would. I mean, they do stick down, but they don't hang up like I thought they would. As you can see... It's not that bad. I've got a lot of stuff to do yet, but the budget phase is over. I mean, I've been driving this Jeep every other day, every weekend, took it off road. Headlights are doing great. As you can see, it's snowing here. They haven't iced over. I've been driving this Jeep for about two hours out playing in it. Uh, I'm sure I've missed stuff, but like I said, when we go back in the studio, I'll talk about the Jeep more, but it turned out great. We went ahead and welded the rear diff, which a lot of people are against. It's an eight and a quarter. It's going to hold up for a while. And we went ahead and put a lunchbox locker in the front. We even ran a front drive shaft on the rear with some modifications um, without a SYE. So all that stuff will be in the description below. You can go back and watch the whole build. But we have only $3,500 in this build, and that is including the Jeep price. Now, a lot of this stuff I did find on sale, uh, you know, stuff on Black Friday and stuff like that. So I, I'm in. I mean, I, I'm in, I'm satisfied with the build that we did on a budget. We did all this in my backyard. No garage. No special equipment. Um, the only thing we had was, you know, basically a welder. Um, that's only the specialty tool that we had. But other than that, all the tools was bought at Harbor Freight and all that stuff. And we did this in our backyard. Now, I was expecting to drive a unstable Cherokee going down the road. I was expecting I was expecting problems of of the Cherokee on how we did things. But honestly, this thing drives better than my 2018 Wrangler that I have. I was very impressed with it um, we even have disconnects on the front so we can hurry up and disconnect it on the trail I wanted to run a sway bar because setting that high I want a sway bar because it feels like a boat but this thing drives down the road straight it doesn't pull it doesn't wobble it doesn't jerk it doesn't do anything that I thought it was going to do because we built it in our backyard so this goes to show you that you don't need the big name brand stuff um, I've been driving this Jeep a good bit, and honestly, nothing has wore out prematurely like everybody said it would. Um, I'm, I'm happy with the build. So if you want to build a Cherokee, you know, along these lines, and you don't have a whole lot of money, you can do this. Like I said, we lifted it for 640 bucks, and uh, 
I, I'm happy with it and it's going to do great off-road because uh, this channel that's what it's always been about is doing stuff on a budget and showing you guys that you can hang with the big boys and our budget was a little bit higher on this build this time because you go back and look at my older builds you know as low center of gravity trying to save as much money as we can we never went out of the area of 31s uh, but now we're running 35s. Honestly, I think 35s is the new 31s in in this day and age. Um, we cut the fenders. I mean, we did so much to this Jeep that you could do on a budget. You know, we cut the fenders out, and I can flex this Jeep up. I don't have a problem. So everything is in spec. There's nothing wrong with this Jeep. Uh, like I said, it, the caster angle is right. The alignment's right. Nothing's wrong. It's just like putting a regular lift kit on. And a lot of people get discouraged about piecing together a lift kit like I did. Um, but there's no need to because, honestly, you can find S10 packs almost anywhere. You can even go to your local uh, dry shaft in Spring Place and they sell those pretty cheap um, if you want to go that route. But S10s are everywhere in West Virginia. You can find leaf springs on them all the time. Uh, for nearly 50 bucks 40 bucks 20 I mean for nearly nothing so I'm happy with the build um, I know in the future we're going to be doing some uh, different stuff with the Jeep um, the reason why, why I went ahead and welded the rear end is because I'm going to be swapping the rear end for an 88 anyway um, I've run lunchbox lockers in Dana 30s before and they held up pretty well the only thing that we got to do is take the axles out and put new u-joints in them and tack weld those on that's what i did with the last build that i had the lunchbox locker and it helps it last a little bit longer but i do have uh, two sets of axles for each side so i'm prepared to break stuff so i'm prepared i know i'm going to break stuff but that's that's with anything so we got a, a lot of stuff to do to this jeep to make it more trail worthy right now it's setting at 50 50. it's 50 percent road worthy and 50 percent trail worthy so the more stuff that we do to this thing it's going to be less road worthy you know we got a lot of stuff that we're going to do to this thing so i'm really excited for the future but before we go too major with it i want to take it out this year and what i like about doing the build over the winter i know it's kind of brutal to go out in the rain and the snow and, and the cold it's pretty much done and now I'm just waiting on trail season to come and we can go have fun with it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. We got different builds coming. We're still building the uh, JK. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I'm Cherokee Ronnie. Stay dirty my friends.